Hi everybody! Let's make a quick trip to the store and price all the things that we'll be replacing with our new family milk cow. We're going to start with milk. We go through about four gallons of milk a month. Right now here at our local grocery store, it looks like the price is $3.89 a gallon. We go through about four pounds of cheese a month, both sharp cheddar and mozzarella. Right now at this store, they're selling one and a half pound blocks for $6.99 each. Next up is butter. We go through about three pounds of butter in a month. And right now these are selling for $3.89 each. Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. My name is Kevin and this is my wife Sarah. Well, we know that you guys enjoy hearing how we make decisions here on the homestead. So today we thought we would do a video to show you how we came to the decision that having a family milk cow was going to be a wise purchase. You know that we watch our money pretty tightly. So when we get in- We're cheap. <laughs> so when we get into something like this, we're really looking at the money behind it, if it's going to be worth it financially, if we're going to be able to make an income off of it. So a big deciding factor for us when we're getting into these projects is the finances behind it. How much is it going to cost to uh, for upkeep? Are we going to be able to generate an income? How much are we going to save in our everyday life and in this situation our groceries? Right. Another factor that always plays into things for us is how will it lessen our dependence on uh, the grocery store or on other people in general. Uh, and so all of those things go into play when we're making decisions for our homestead. The reason we decided to live this life in the first place is to kind of break free from some of those things that keep a lot of people where they're at. Uh, we wanted to be a little bit different and so we're trying our hardest to live uh, the life that we think we're being called to live. So our most recent change is that we have decided to bring a cow, a dairy cow, onto our homestead. And the, the purpose is hopefully to be able to replace all of the dairy products that we currently buy from the grocery store. We're buying milk, butter, cheese, yogurt, and sour cream right now at the grocery store. Right. And the intro, you guys saw a little bit of that while we were at our local grocery store. We live in a very small town, so the options for us when it comes to buying those things are really Walmart or our little, you know, little local grocery store. Uh, Walmart does carry some organic versions of things. Our local grocery store really doesn't, but uh, you know, we, we try to do the best that we can. So let's jump right into what I like to call nerdy cow math. I know last year when I introduced you guys to nerdy chicken math, uh, you guys loved it. So let's do some nerdy cow math. I'll teach you how my brain works. So we're going to start off with um, how much we spend per month on dairy products. We go to the grocery store and we buy our groceries generally once a month, sometimes every six weeks. And so we have an idea of how much we go right. through each month because that's just how my brain works and how we do our shopping. 
We live on a very strict budget. We try to stay within $200 a month on groceries. And here lately- From the store. From the store. So here lately, it's been actually a lot less than that. We've been able to get all of our groceries that we need from the store and all of our like toiletries, you know, for under $200 a month. So I think we're doing pretty well. So I wanna share with you our monthly grocery bill as far as dairy products go. And we shared a little bit about this with you uh, previously in the video where I was at the grocery store buying it. Uh, but we go through about four gallons of milk just to drink every month. And according to the grocery store prices, uh, that's about $15.56 a month for milk. For cheese, we go through about six pounds of cheese per month. And that totals about $27.96. Butter, we go through three pounds a month for $11.67. Yogurt, we go through one of those kind of bigger uh, containers of yogurt at $5.65 because I like that uh, organic Greek yogurt. And sour cream, we only go through one of the 16 ounce or, 16 ounce or two cup containers a month and that's about two bucks. So total for dairy products per month, we're spending about uh, $62.84, so annually that adds up to $754.08 per year. So now that we have an idea of how much we spend every month and every year on dairy products at the grocery store, the next step was to figure out what we think the cow will cost us on a monthly and yearly basis to have here on the homestead. Now I do wanna say that at this point, for this analysis that we're doing today, we're not taking into consideration the price that we paid for the cow or the price that it costs to set everything up to house the cow. Now we'll explain a little bit more of why we're not doing that later on, but keep in mind that uh, those things are long-term investments for the homestead. Uh, the, the, the pen that we made for the cow is also going to be used for our goats. So if we were going to include the expenses, we would have to give some of that expenses to the goats and some to the cow, and we'd have to figure all of that out separately. So uh, at the end, we'll talk more about that, but I want you to keep in mind, for right now, we're talking about the monthly and yearly ongoing expenses of the cow. So as far as cow expenses go, uh, the first thing we need to think about is hay. Uh, we're going to be feeding our cow big round bales of hay. They normally about 900 pound uh, hay bales that we're going to be feeding. And they average in our area about $50 a bale. Some years, if there's a lot of hay around, we can get them for less, about $35 a bale. And some years when there's a shortage of hay like there was last year, they may be as high as $75 a bale. But on average, we're looking at about $50 a bale on a normal year. So we figure that the cow is going to go through about a bale a month, and that would be about $600 a year. Now part of the reason that we think the cow is gonna go through an entire bale of hay a month uh, for the entire year is because we don't really have a good pasture for the cow. We're gonna be raising it kind of back in a wooded area along with our goats. And since cows are more grass eaters, there's gonna be more back there for the goats than there are for the cow. So we're going to have to feed hay year round. Uh, but of course our goats will also be eating some of that hay, but we're not gonna figure that into the equation. We're just gonna say one bale a month for the cow, which would be $600 a year. The next thing is some type of dairy ration. Uh, we still haven't decided, we need to make a decision soon because we're getting there next week, whether or not we're gonna feed grain or we're just gonna feed like alfalfa cubes or something like that during milking time but we kind of averaged that cost and we figured we'll be spending about $22.50 a month on either grain or the alfalfa cubes, which would be about $270 a year. And then the other thing is we'll have to get mineral blocks to put out for the goats and the, and the cow. Uh, we figure about $30 a year. They're only about $7 a piece and they should last a few months. So about $30 a year for that. And that brings us to a total of $900 a year that the cow is going to actually cost us to keep here on the homestead. So at first glance, it seems like we're losing money on this deal. 
to keep the cow uh, annually. It'll be about $900, and we spend about $754 per year on dairy products. Right, so it seems like we're losing about $150 a year. Uh, and at first, when I looked at that, I thought, oh gee, maybe we should just keep buying things at the store because there is a lot of work involved in a cow too. And I don't know if I want to pay $150 a year to do more work. But then we started thinking more about it and started talking to more people in our community, uh, people who go to church with us and people who uh, we just meet at our local farmer's market and other places. And we hadn't figured something into the equation when we were thinking about keeping a cow. And that is, in the state of Missouri, we can sell raw cow's milk from the farm. Right. It is legal in this state. You'll have to check your state laws if you live somewhere else because every state has different laws. But as of right now, it is legal in Missouri to sell raw milk directly from the farm. Uh, we're not even allowed to take it to the farmer's market and sell. Uh, we have to sell it directly off of our farm. But in our area, we figure we can get about $5 per gallon for raw Jersey milk. If we can sell five gallons a week, which is, I think, a, a very reasonable estimate. We've already actually secured a couple people who want to buy some from us. And I think we can easily sell five gallons a week. Uh, that, would, that would be $25 a week that we would be making selling raw milk. If we could do that all year long, we'd be looking at about $1,300 a year in sales of raw milk. So now it makes the equation a lot different because the cow is actually going to make us money, not cost us money. All right, so that leads us to our final analysis of everything we figured out, which I like to call the nerdy cow math analysis. <laughs> Let's figure it out here. So once we get the cow, we're no longer going to be spending that $754 a year at the grocery store. So that is a definite plus. Unfortunately, we will be spending $900 a year to keep the cow. At first glance, that seems like a negative. That's $146 difference. If we can sell the five gallons of raw milk that we think we can sell every week, maybe sometimes more, maybe sometimes less, but five gallons on average per week, we'll actually end up making a profit of $1,154 per year for the homestead. That can fund all types of different projects around the homestead. It may even give us the ability to expand some of the other areas that we've wanted to expand. But hold up. Really, what that means is we can start recuperating some of the money that right. we spent to put this project together in the first place. Right. We put up a, a carport barn, we put up fencing, we bought a hay feeder, we bought uh, waterers. So right. we can start getting a return on our investment and just within a few years, we can recuperate all of that money. Right. It isn't a cheap endeavor to get into raising a cow. We've learned that kind of the hard way this year uh, by between the barn and the fence and the cow and everything else, yeah. we're in for close to $5,000, but after doing this analysis and looking that after you know several years, we'll be able to make all of that back. So as you can see, it is definitely a positive to have this cow here on the homestead. And because we built this nice pen for the cow, and now we can raise our goats back there as well, it cuts down on our feed costs for the goats. It gives the goats a nicer place to live and we can continue to raise our goats and sell the babies every year, which will help pay for that whole project even faster. Let's not forget that our cow will also be having calves every year, at least one calf every year, and we can either sell that calf to gain some of that money back, or we can raise that up, and that's just more meat for our family and for the homestead. So we've been thinking about getting a cow for a lot of years. We were actually pretty scared to take the leap because it seemed like a huge expense and it seemed like it would be an ongoing expense. It wasn't until we sat down and really figured out the math behind it that we decided to make the decision. Sarah and I both kind of think the same where things just need to make sense or we're not going to do it. If it isn't going to at least break even, 
It's not something that we will do on our homestead. We are so excited to bring our family's first Jersey milk cow home. Her name is Hope. We should be bringing her home next week, actually, and we'll be able to share with you guys milking and how things go. We're really excited and we're so happy that you guys are joining us for that adventure. So I hope this helps give you guys some insight into how we make decisions on the homestead. If you want to live this life, uh, you need to be able to make wise decisions so that you don't get in over your head or do things that are going to ultimately be a detriment to your homestead and to your family. If you're not a subscriber to our channel yet, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button before you leave. The best way that you guys can help us out, as always, is to share our videos with other people you know. Share it on all of your social media so that other people can learn how to live this lifestyle as well. Until next time, thank you so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.